Well, hello folks, welcome along to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet, and this is a new uh, Let's Play save, this time with Tennis Manager 2023. Really excited about getting my teeth into this. Um, ever since the game came out, I wanted to uh, to get this cracking, but just wasn't able to. Um, so, hopefully you've seen the uh, introductory video, three minutes long. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. I did some acting in it, so kind of. Um, but this is the, the first proper video, and we have loads to get through in this first episode. We want to look at the academy. We want to think about the rules of the academy. How are we going to uh, set things up, and uh, what what are we focusing on here? Uh, we want to have a look at our protege, Krusty Bun, and we also have, want to have a look at our attributes as well. Lots and lots to talk about, the infrastructure as well, and we want to play our first tournament. So I think we need to dive right on in. Okay, here we are. Board director Mike Borg. I wonder if he's related. Um, not to me, but you know. Uh, he's welcoming us to the club. Um, we've got facilities to think about. We've got... A little bit of staff already here uh, and already a decision to, to make on the staff front. And um, we've got Krusty Bun to have a look at as well, who we have, have set up. Uh, it's a different Krusty Bun, as you can see. He is sporting the blue beard today. I think, first of all, what we want to have a look at is my good self. So this is how I set my player up. So I was... Again, I've focused in on the technical training, so we're really quite good at delivering technical training with a, a whole, huge lump of points put towards the serve, and I'm hoping we can really push on uh, Krusty Bun's uh, Krusty, Bun, <laughs> Krusty Bun's serve because I think for what we want him to do, that is going to be important. Um, so we're, we're okay. That is that is us. We've got a couple more staff um, who can do training. We've got uh, Jameson Gutierrez, who, I don't know, he looks like he's just finishing finished his, his, his modelling uh, contract, who looks all right, so we've got some good physical uh, training capacity there, uh, which you kind of need. And we've got another guy uh, who is Andy Anthony Myers, who is not as good, and he feels quite similar. Um, so... My thought here is, why don't we get rid of him? In fact, we're doing that right now. We're going to dismiss him. He's got a long contract, and let's see what we can dismiss him for. But we don't need to be paying this £1,700 a month at the minute. We can deal with what we have. He's he's, he's, a, he's, he's a man. There we go. Oh, we only need to cut... Well, we play £1,000. That's fine. Okay, so that's our staff. So what about the academy? What is the academy set up to do? Well... As I said in the introduction video, this is slightly different from the Death Academy. This is a nationalist academy. So we're focusing on British players, yes, but we're not focusing necessarily on youth players. Any British player that we think we can improve, we can go after. So we can, we, we're not restricted to that 18 and under um, thing that we had in the, the TM22 save. So I think that was going to make it a little bit easier to get the money in, and that's that's fine. Um, but but that's all good. As you can see, we've set it up such that we've only got the we had the minimum amount of money we could have started with, which is ten grand. We've just we've just spunked one one point one k of that already, um, getting rid of that contract. But I think it's worth it. So that's that's that one. Uh, and we also went for the lowest possible academy rating. So this is what we have. It's very little. We've got one hard court set of hard courts here. We've got bizarrely quite a nice looking weight room, a multi-purpose field, swimming pool and sports HQ. So a lot of these things, a lot of the training here, we don't have access to. In terms of the medical centre, we've got very little here. Physical therapy room and a psychiatry department. Well, so uh, yeah, there we there we go. Uh, a little bit more in terms of the youth centre. Um, got a campus, amazingly a sports study program at said campus. Management structure, 
and supervision tool. So looking quite good there. And the business centre, yeah, lots to be done here. We we do have a press conference room, as you saw that, just in front of the bins. Uh, and a stores uh, already here. So if you look at the monthly income here, we're not doing too bad. So in, on the sports centre, we're losing about 10k. But then you look here, we are making about 10k in the medical centre, making um, about 20k in the youth centre, and about 20k here in the business centre. So we are not really going to be uh, having an issue with money, I think, early doors. It certainly feels a little bit easier than it was. You can see here, revenue here, impacted by player fame. So having a high-profile academy. This is, this is cool. So I missed all this when I was doing it pre previously. So when they're when these are being not being used so if we're off playing a tournament or the training doesn't fit with them we can get money from them which is which is nice the medical center uh basically the better our medical staff are the, the more we make the quality of the staff and notoriety of the players improve that i like that i like that improvement it makes more sense than getting a maybe a standard rate each time I'm, I'm not sure whether we do get a standard rate and then more money on top or lose money i don't know we will we will have to see um right let's have a look at crusty bun so as you can see here uh crusty's waiting to to get started he's just 15 years old there's not there wasn't an awful lot of money to put around but what we did do was put a little bit into his physical so we took a little bit out of his technicals and put those into his physicals. And I think that's probably a, a good thing, particularly as at the minute he's got weak shape. So he's losing uh, a bunch of money there. I did look at whether some of these mental attributes, the confidence, composure, killer instincts and fighting spirit, whether we could put them there, but we weren't able to. You can only um, upgrade the things that you are able to train, which I, is a bit crappy, I think, but... You know, there we go. We've got a junior ranking of 479th, which isn't great. Uh, but all in all, Krusty Bun, uh, what we're going to try and do with him is make him a um, baseline, a defensive baseliner. So we're just grinding out points. And you can see there we've already got the, the primary tactic in action there, defensive baseline play. And that is good. But initially, what we are going to be doing uh, for the first few bits of training is we are going to go on to a physical training uh, and what I did previously and it, it, he is actually already on a physical training there or physics training <laughs> be disappointed if we start doing geometry or something but uh, I had a really 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 good uh, comment on my last tennis manager 2022 video which is well worth going back to. I think it's episode 68. If you go back and have a look in the comments there, really, really useful one about a lot of the things that um, the commenter thought I wasn't doing quite right. Uh, and one of the things uh, was that was spoken about was my reticence to, or, or the, my thought about physical training, about the fact that physical training, in my opinion, doesn't necessarily improve the shape uh, but his his idea there was I just I'm not doing enough of it. I need to put more physical training in, and I will have an effect on shape. At the minute, it's it's a bit of a mismatch of physical and technical training or mental training. So I need to be more focused on physical training if I want to improve the shape. That's what he said. So we're gonna have a look at that. I am thinking about doing a little bit of an experiment video on that at some point as well, because I'm really fascinated as to what the impact is of, of that training, uh, because it's something I'm, I'm not being sure about. So we can keep that physical training on. The other thing he said was I'm playing far too many tournaments. You reckon about 20 tournaments a year is sufficient, and then that gives you time to train up everything else there's a load of other things in there as well really well worth a read um, lots of lots of uh, little tips in there which i think are well worth um exploring so yeah big thanks to uh rob i think it was who who dropped that comment so i'm going to sort out our registration for the first what we got 
the first 13 weeks of the year. We're not going to get into, well, week nine, we've got nothing. Oh, it's the, got, we've got a thing, <laughs> got a thing. So we have a hard court, don't we? We have a hard court, so we might well want to make use of the hard courts. We've got to stay at the very lowest level, I think. And I might start start there. Then we'll have a break for so I'm, yeah, we'll start there. But I'm going to sort this out now. Come back and show you what I've set up. Right. So one of the things I think we are going to be wanting to do is to have enough time for training. So what I have done is is exactly that. So we we are playing in the first week of the season. Why why the heck not? Just just maybe get a, a win on the board and then we've got a nice big three week break until we play again um, in Stavanger in Denmark then a couple of weeks later we're in uh, Estonia then we've got a three week break and then we've got back to back tournaments at slightly higher level uh, um, the uh, in Hamburg so we'll see how we do there uh, boys 30 event there in uh, in France so and that's it just five tournaments in that in that period I think that's that seems sensible to me so uh, yeah let me know let me know if I should be putting more in less I want to hear from you right let's move forward so this is an important one these are the objectives for the season recruit only players with a status with a different status than secondary player all of these are secondary actually so we, we don't have to achieve anything this season essentially which is great Oh, nice. Okay, we've got some offers coming in. I think at this stage we just probably don't need to worry too much and just can bring these in. If we... So this is for two seasons. We've got Prince. Oh, we've got two different offers for Rackets. So, and, and we don't have one yet there unless rebound is one so what do we go for here it's a little bit more here so I guess we go with Prince what's the details rank achieved fifth I mean it's possibility isn't it we could we could get that and we need to play in 20 tournaments so that's what we'll aim for okay there we go we have that we've also sorted out her his goals and it's basically just to get in the top 200. So we'll achieve that. There's an interesting one. There's the tension among board of directors. So it looks like there's a little bit more behind the scenes stuff. Which might affect the, the play. As you can see we are. We've got a current balance of minus 9. nine wow, how have we managed that? I'm not entirely sure there. Right, here we go. We're going to play our first match. You'll see what Krusty has been up to. So we've just had physical training so far and the there is no improvement in shape. None at all. So um, we can see we've just got the uh, the racket bonus has given us a, a little improvement here. Um, but yeah, that is, that's left us in a weak shape, which is not ideal. We've been training the defensive baseline play. We've been doing that every single week alongside that train, alongside the physical training. So that's almost getting to green. And then we need to think about what secondary and th tertiary tactics should be. But we're here to, at the uh, where at Arlon in Belgium, and we are going to be playing Timio Trofelli of Italy in uh, for France. Sorry, because. He doesn't sound particularly French, but we're going to be playing him. Uh, obviously, we've not played him uh, previously. Uh, we're sticking with this plan for now, and then we'll see how things go. I'm not entirely sure um, what the best route is at the minute. We're just going to play this one out and see what happens. And here we go. We've got this lovely little intro. There's nobody at the course. Actually, there's a few people. It's not completely rubbish is it custard uh, crusty bun there right here we go folks um, we're gonna we, we, we're starting off here let's see how we do not very good start here we love 40 down he's yet to win a point 
against this 14 year old slow start although he's gone long there that's fine his blue beard is spectacular I have to say I mean this would be an epic little comeback wouldn't it if he got it back to juice a lovely ace there down the middle we did put a little bit extra into his serve and are we benefiting from that already Again, we're not quite doing it here. We might lose our very first game. That's a dreadful serve. Into the net. The quality is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> These games are going to take forever. We're still on the first game. Oh, that's, that is nice. And we've gone from being struggling on our own serve to 40 love 40 up on his serve come on into the net so we take a break to love well straight away we're battling to win our own serve it's gonna there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on here we're gonna play this game and then we'll come back in the next episode and I'll tell you how we got on in the tournament. It's gone long. There we go. Pulled it back to juice. 3 1, and we're 15 40 down this time. Oh, into the net. We've done so well, but it's 3 2. We're back on serve. Well, 4 3. Chance here potentially to go 5 3, and that would just be just behind where we needed to be and there we go 5-3 could crusty bun get his first set well he's, he's gonna make it difficult for himself he's got to save a break first of all and uh, that's gone wide another opportunity for the Frenchman to get back into this oh that's a lovely hit an impact to juice. Oh, look at that. First set point opportunity for Krusty Bun. Is he going to buckle under the pressure or is he going to take his first set? He's using that backhand slice effectively mixing it up and he's gone into the net and we have got a first set 6-3 very nicely done well done crusty bun um olsen here says he's hitting too many double faults maybe more mental than technical but he must react well what can we do about his serves they're at low risk. I mean, there's nothing really. I guess the second serve we could go. Why? Why have got high powered second serve? Let's not do that. Average powered second serve. Maybe that's going to work for, out for us. So we won the first set, but we are potentially at risk of being broken in the second set, but it just went long there. It's one all, and we are 30, 40 up. Loving this from Krusty Bun. He is such a danger. Game. Two games to one. It was it, it was the game to Krusty Bun. Well done. With three one up, this is going very well. With 30, 40, three one up. He's come into the net. Oh, he, that. He's, he looks dodgy as heck with his, his volley in this guy. Another opportunity. This would be 4-1 if Krusty could get this. This would be absolutely flipping massive. Oh, what? I think the... Yeah, it just... It just clipped away too early, didn't it? We couldn't really see if that was in or out. Another chance here. He's he's really pushing it on. 
Nice serve. Oh, it's a lovely play. What are you doing? Playing it right back to him. And there, the volleying, the weak volley. It's 4-1. we just uh, two games away from our first ever win. This is absolutely fantastic. Krusty is 6-3-5-1 now. He's got a he's got a match point. 30-40. Come on, Krusty. Oh, what a dreadful shot. 6-3, six, 6-1. Six, Krusty Bun and his blue beard absolutely destroying the opposition. Gets his first win on the, uh, the junior tour. There's the opposition fixing the chair. And, uh, yeah, that could not really have gone much better. Absolutely fantastic. He was so, so strong. So we are going to be playing a Nikola Djokic. Uh, we're not going to worry about that quite at the minute. So we'll come back and, and worry about that when it happens. Well, it's interesting. I've just looked here. It looks like my assistant has just gone and put a whole load of tournaments in here when I didn't ask them to do that. I'm going to need to work that out. But I don't think I can get out of them. I don't want to play in this tournament. But it looks like I've got no choice, which is a little frustrating. I I definitely didn't say for them to do that. I might be able to get out of this one, but these are the two that I did uh, sort out. That one was that one. It's these two that I didn't include that somehow I'm now playing and I can't get out of. Junior 200 events. I mean, why why are we playing in those those sort of tournaments? I'm not entirely sure, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, folks. This will do it for today. We have we've we've started out with a victory. We've got a very tough looking game against Nikola Djokic, who's third in uh, third ranked uh, player in this tournament. And that's going to be a challenge. Um, but if we get through that, actually, the route isn't too scary. Yeah, so really excited to get going with this save. Krusty Bun looks a magnificent player. We're going to continue training him. As always, please leave comments. If I'm doing things wrong, let me know. I'm really much, very much wanting to learn to be better at this game. So uh, any advice is good advice. If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you next time where hopefully we'll have a better idea what's going on with the finances. And we'll be able to tell you if we manage to... Uh, um, do well in this tournament in Arlon. If we go really far, we might well be coming back for uh, the, the final. Who knows? I doubt it, but who knows? Anyway, folks, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you there next time. Goodbye.